A small voltage drop when starting the engine is okay, but it's time to investigate if it's significant. Let's dive into why that happens and, more importantly, how to fix it. Higher accessory loads. When you turn the key, all your car's gadgets, headlights, AC, music systems, power up and start drawing from the battery. If the battery is weak, it can cause a voltage drop. Starter motor load. The starter motor needs about 200 amps of power to get your engine going. If it's weak, it struggles, causing a more significant voltage drop. Poor battery health. An old or worn out battery might need help to keep up with the demands of starting the engine and running accessories. It won't have enough juice to crank the engine if it's too weak. Faulty connections. Loose or corroded battery connections are like a shaky Wi-Fi signal. If the terminals are dirty or loose, they can lead to a voltage drop when the ignition is turned on. Bad alternator. If it's not working, the battery won't get the energy it needs, leading to a voltage drop while starting the engine. How to diagnose the problem. Here are two quick ways to check if your battery is the culprit. 1. Before starting the engine, grab a multimeter and measure the voltage between the battery terminals. If it's below 12 volts, you've got a battery problem. 2. Another test is to turn on the headlights and then crank the engine. If the lights flicker and the voltage drops below 9.6 volts, the battery isn't holding up under load. Fixing the problem. If your connections are corroded or loose, clean them up and tighten everything. If the battery is low on juice, recharge it. If it's too old, replace it. Don't forget to check the alternator. If it's not working, that could be why your battery is suffering. If your car is overloaded with accessories, consider giving it a little break until you sort things out. Thanks for tuning in, and if you have any questions about your car's battery or electrical system, let me know in the comments.